This fleeting journey we call life. It's the dash between the dates that truly defines our existence. It's not just a small line on a stone. It's a vast ocean of moments, choices, laughter, and tears. It's the books we read, the love we share, the dreams we chase, and yes, even the mistakes we make. It's every sunrise we witness and every starry night that witnesses us, dreaming with eyes wide open or closed in peaceful slumber. Every tick of the clock is a whispered reminder that time once spent is gone forever. It's a non-renewable resource, more precious than the rarest diamond. For diamonds can be found again, but a spent moment is lost in the abyss of time. Consider this. With every breath, with every heartbeat, we're given a choice. How do we spend this irreplaceable currency of life? Do we let it slip through our fingers like grains of sand, or do we hold it, mold it, and shape it into something magnificent? Think about it. Every day is a new page in the book of your life. What story are you writing? Is it one of courage, of learning, and of love? Or is it one filled with chapters of what ifs and then sums? Sundays blend into weeks, and weeks into months, and before. We know it. Years have passed, and we find ourselves at a crossroads, looking back, pondering over the good haves and should haves. It's easy to say, I'll do it tomorrow, but let me ask you, how many tomorrows do we really have? The truth is, we don't know. What we do know is that we have now, this moment today. It's what we have to work with, to dream, to live, to love, and to make a difference. So why waste it? Why wait for a perfect moment when the imperfection of now holds all the potential we could ever need to make our dreams a reality? It's in the choices we make every day that we find our path to success. It's in the small steps we take towards our goals, in the perseverance through the struggles, and in the relentless pursuit of what sets our souls on fire. It's in deciding that no matter the hurdles, we keep moving forward, for it's in motion that we find progress, and in progress, we find fulfillment. But remember, it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about valuing the journey. It's about the people we meet, the lives we touch, and the legacy we leave behind. It's about living for that dash, for it's within that dash that we truly find the essence of life. So as we stand here at the precipice of possibility, make a pledge to ourselves to live, to really live, to chase our dreams with the tenacity of a storm, to love with the depth of the ocean, and to make every moment count. It's not the years in our life that matter, but the life in our years. Not just exist, live. For every second, every minute is a gift, and it's time we start treating it as such. Don't wait for the perfect moment to start living our dreams. The perfect moment is now, and it's begging us to seize it with both hands and to make it our own, embracing each moment as it unfolds. The significance of steering our ship with a clear compass becomes undeniably clear. The essence of living a life filled with purpose, meaning, and fulfillment doesn't lie in merely drifting with the tides but in setting sails towards our desired destination. This is where the transformative power of goals comes into play, a beacon of light guiding us through the darkest nights and stormiest seas. Imagine, if you will, embarking on a voyage without a map or compass, such as life without goals. It's easy to be swayed by the currents, to find oneself miles off course, wondering where the time has gone. Yet, when we chart our course with clear, actionable goals, we not only give direction to our efforts but also infuse our days with a sense of purpose. Goals are not just dreams or wishes. They are the milestones by which we measure our progress, the lighthouse guiding us towards the shores of our aspirations. But how do we set these goals? It begins with a reflection, a deep dive into the core of our being. Ask yourself, what is it that sets your soul on fire? What are your deepest values and aspirations? This introspection is the foundation upon which we build our goals. It's not about what others expect of us or what society deems as success. It's about what resonates with our innermost desires, about what brings us joy, fulfillment, and a sense of achievement. Once we've tapped into our core desires, the next step is to crystallize these aspirations into clear, actionable goals. A goal, to be effective, must be as sharp as a photograph, enabling us to visualize it in our mind's eye with utmost clarity. It's the difference between saying, I want to be successful, and I want to head my own design firm that champions sustainable architecture, impacting the community and environment positively. The latter not only defines success in precise terms, but also aligns with one's passion for design and sustainability. Now, with our goals vividly etched in our minds, prioritization becomes key. In the garden of our aspirations, not all flowers bloom at once. 
Some goals are stepping stones to others. Some are foundational, requiring our immediate attention. This is where the principle of prioritization comes into play. Ask yourself, which goals, when achieved, will have the most profound impact on my life? Which among these align most closely with my core values? It's akin to setting up dominoes in such a way that when one falls, it sets off a chain reaction, propelling us closer to our ultimate vision. However, setting and prioritizing goals is only the beginning. The real magic happens in the pursuit. It's in the daily actions, the small steps taken consistently, that dreams are transformed into reality. It's about breaking down our goals into manageable tasks, setting deadlines, and holding ourselves accountable. It's about being resilient in the face of setbacks, learning from each misstep, and persistently moving forward even when progress seems slow. Remember, the pursuit of our goals is not a sprint but a marathon. It's about endurance, patience, and the unwavering belief in our ability to achieve what we set out to do. It's about embracing the journey with its highs and lows, knowing that each step forward is a step towards becoming the person we aspire to be. In this pursuit, let us not forget to celebrate the milestones, no matter how small. Each achievement is a testament to our determination, a building block in the edifice of our dreams. Let us take a moment to acknowledge our progress, to revel in the satisfaction of a job well done, before setting our sights on the next peak. The power of goals illuminates our path, guiding us towards a life of purpose, fulfillment, and unparalleled achievement. Let us not just dream of a better life, but take bold, decisive steps towards making it a reality. It is those who dare to dream and have the courage to pursue their dreams relentlessly who carve their names in the annals of history leaving behind a legacy of inspiration for generations to come. So embark on this journey armed with the power of our goals, with clear vision, ready to conquer the challenges ahead and transform our lives in ways we never imagined. What was, the time is now, and the power is within us not only to achieve our goals but to live a life that echoes our deepest values and aspirations. Life that we can look back on without regret, knowing that we gave it all, gave something. Each thread represents a moment of choice. A step taken towards our dreams or, conversely, a moment of hesitation, a pause that stretches into hours, days, and sometimes even a lifetime of procrastination. The art of overcoming procrastination is akin to navigating through a dense fog, where every step forward illuminates the path ahead bit by bit. God guiding us towards our destination, the realization of our goals and aspirations. But what is it that anchors us in the harbor of hesitation, preventing us from setting sail towards the horizon of our dreams? Often, it's the daunting silhouette of our task, the magnitude of our goals that cast a shadow over our motivation, engulfing us in the paralysis of procrastination. It's the fear of failure, the whispers of doubt, and the comfort of the familiar that lulls us into inaction. Yet, just as the dawn dispels the night, there are strategies to overcome these barriers, to break free from the chains of procrastination, and to step into the light of productivity and progress. The first step in this journey is recognition, recognizing that procrastination is but a mental barrier, a fog of fear that clouds our potential. It is in this recognition that we find the power to change, the strength to move forward. One effective technique to cut through this fog is the practice of breaking down our goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. Just as a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, the realization of our dreams begins with one small action, followed by another, and then another. By focusing on these smaller tasks, we can build momentum, turning the daunting into the doable, transforming our hesitation into action. Moreover, the cultivation of discipline and a sense of urgency is paramount in our quest to overcome procrastination. Discipline, much like a muscle, strengthens with use. It begins with setting small daily goals, commitments to ourselves that when fulfilled, reinforce our capacity for self-control and focus. Each small victory, each task completed, is a step towards ingraining discipline into the fabric of our being, making it not just something we practice but who we are. In tandem with discipline, a sense of urgency propels us forward, imbuing our actions with purpose and intention. It's about embracing the present moment, Understanding that time is a precious commodity, and that every moment spent in procrastination is a moment lost. Cultivating this sense of urgency involves setting deadlines, not just arbitrary dates on a calendar, but commitments carved in the conviction that our dreams, goals are not just possible but essential. Furthermore, visualization serves as a powerful ally in overcoming procrastination. 
It's about seeing not just the task at hand, but the larger picture, the life we're building, the dreams we're realizing. When we visualize the outcome of our efforts, the fulfillment of our goals, we infuse our daily task with meaning transforming them from mere chores into stepping stones on the path to success. But perhaps the most critical strategy in combating procrastination is the practice of self-compassion. It's about understanding that setbacks are part of the journey, that every moment of hesitation is an opportunity to learn, to grow. It's about treating ourselves with the same kindness and encouragement that we would offer a dear friend, recognizing that progress is not about perfection but persistence. As we navigate through the fog of procrastination armed with these strategies, we find ourselves emerging into the light of productivity and progress. We find that the barriers that once seemed insurmountable are but stepping stones, opportunities to prove to ourselves that we are capable of overcoming, of achieving, of becoming the best versions of ourselves, marked by the peaks of our aspirations and the valleys of our challenges. It becomes evident that the most monumental changes stem from the smallest of seeds, the daily habits that form the bedrock of our existence. These seemingly insignificant actions, when repeated day in and day out, possess the power to transform our lives in ways we can scarcely imagine. It's not the grand gestures or the sporadic leaps of faith that shape our destiny, but the consistent, persistent efforts we make each day. Consider, for a moment, the mighty river carving its way through solid rock, not by force but by persistence. So too, do our daily habits have the power to carve the path to our goals, shaping our lives with the steady drip of effort and dedication. Each habit we cultivate is a tool in our hands, capable of sculpting our future with precision and care. The question then arises, how do we harness this formidable power? The answer lies in the deliberate choice and cultivation of habits that serve our goals, that propel us forward rather than hold us back. The journey begins with awareness, recognizing the habits that currently shape our days. Which of these are allies in our quest for growth, and which are adversaries stealthily undermining our progress? Identifying the habits that support our aspirations is only the first step. The real challenge lies in their cultivation. This process begins with a clear vision of our goals, for it is this vision that will guide our efforts, illuminating the path when the way becomes obscured by doubt or difficulty. With our destination firmly in mind, we then break down the journey into small, manageable actions, daily habits that are within our power to perform. The establishment of a new habit is akin to the planting of a seed. It requires preparation, care, and patience. We must prepare the soil of our will, removing the rocks of resistance and the weeds of procrastination. We plant the seed of our new habit with a single, simple action repeated daily, and we water this seed with the care of our attention patient in the knowledge that growth takes time. Yet, even the best laid plans can be threatened by the storms of life. Maintaining our new habits requires the shelter of a supportive environment, one that nurtures our growth and shields us from the elements that seek to uproot our efforts. This may mean seeking the company of those who share our aspirations or reshaping our environment to remove temptations that lead us astray. The true test of our commitment comes not when the path is smooth and the sky is clear, but when obstacles arise. It is in these moments that the strength of our habits is proven. The daily discipline of our actions becomes our anchor, holding us steady in the face of challenges. We learn to navigate around obstacles, always keeping our goals in sight, guided by the beacon of our habits. In this endeavor, let us not be disheartened by setbacks. Each stumble, each fall is an opportunity to rise again, stronger and more determined. The power of daily habits lies not in their perfection but in their persistence. We must be relentless in our efforts, buoyed by the knowledge that each day brings us closer to our goals. May we take comfort in the knowledge that we are not alone in our journey. We stand with all those who dare to dream, try, and achieve. Their stories inspire us, their successes inspire us, and their challenges remind us that the path to greatness is paved with the small decisions we make every day. We often find ourselves standing at the crossroads of success and failure where the path ahead is shrouded in the mist of uncertainty. It is in these moments, amidst the trials and tribulations, that the true essence of our character is forged. Failure, as daunting as it may seem, is not the antithesis of success but its most profound teacher. It is a stepping stone, each one laying the foundation for the towering edifice of our future achievements. Let us consider for a moment the narrative that society has woven around failure, a narrative steeped in negativity and defeat. 
This perspective, however, is a narrow lens through which the vast landscape of human potential is scarcely visible. To view failure through a lens of opportunity, to see it as a crucible in which our resilience and perseverance are tested and strengthened, is to unlock the door to limitless growth. Imagine the countless innovators and trailblazers who, in the face of adversity, chose not to bow down but to rise up time and again. Their journeys were not linear paths paved with unbroken chains of successes, but rather mosaics beautifully pieced together with shards of setbacks and triumphs. Each setback, each failure was a lesson learned, a mystery unraveled, propelling them closer to their ultimate goal. Take, for instance, the story of a young inventor whose early ventures failed not once but numerous times, leading him to the brink of financial ruin. Yet it was his unwavering persistence, his refusal to see failure as a dead end, that eventually led to the invention of the electric light bulb. His journey reminds us that the road to innovation is littered with the debris of failed attempts, each one a beacon guiding us toward success. But how do we cultivate this resilience? This ability to view failure as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. It begins with a shift in perspective, with the understanding that failure is not a reflection of our worth but a natural step in the process of achievement. We must embrace the mindset that each setback is a lesson in disguise, an opportunity to glean insights that are invisible to the eye of success. Moreover, persistence in the face of failure is key. It is not enough to simply acknowledge our setbacks. We must also have the courage to press on, to dust ourselves off, and try again armed with the knowledge gained from our previous attempts. This persistence, this tenacity, is the fuel that drives us forward, pushing us beyond the boundaries of what we thought possible. It is also essential to cultivate an environment of support, surrounding ourselves with individuals who see the value in our efforts, who encourage us to persevere when the going gets tough. For it is in the moments of doubt that a word of encouragement can reignite the embers of our determination, transforming them into a blazing inferno of resolve. Let us not forget to celebrate the small victories, the incremental progress we make with each attempt. In doing so, we reinforce the belief in our ability to overcome, to learn, to grow. These celebrations, however small, are the milestones marking our journey from failure to success, reminding us that each step forward, no matter how insignificant it may seem, is a victory in its own right. Where each day offers a new horizon to explore, the pursuit of knowledge stands as a beacon of light guiding us toward continuous growth and improvement. It is a universal truth that the landscape of the world we inhabit is ever-changing, morphing with the tides of innovation, thought, and discovery. In such a world, the commitment to lifelong learning emerges not just as a path to personal enrichment but as a necessity for navigating the complexities of modern existence. Consider for a moment the greatest minds and spirits that have graced the annals of history. Their achievements were not the products of static knowledge but of an unquenchable thirst for learning, a relentless pursuit of the unknown and the undiscovered. It is this insatiable curiosity, this hunger for understanding, that propelled them into the realms of greatness. And it is this very principle of perpetual growth and learning that we must integrate into the very fabric of our lives. The role of lifelong learning in our personal and professional development cannot be overstated. It is the engine of adaptability, the source of innovation, and the foundation of resilience in the face of change. To champion the concept of continuous improvement is to acknowledge that the quest for knowledge is infinite, that there is always another layer to uncover, another perspective to consider, another skill to master. Integrating learning into daily life is a practice that requires intentionality and discipline but is rewarded with a richness of experience and a depth of understanding that is unparalleled. The first step on this path is cultivating a mindset of openness and curiosity. Approach each day with the question, what can I learn today? Whether it's a new skill, a fascinating fact, or a deeper understanding of a complex issue, every day holds the potential for learning. One practical method for weaving learning into the fabric of everyday life is through the establishment of dedicated learning times. This could be as simple as starting the day with a chapter of an enlightening book, listening to educational podcasts during the commute, or dedicating a few minutes each evening to reflect on what was learned that day. The key is consistency, like drops of water that over time wear away stone. Consistent daily learning can transform our minds and our lives. Moreover, the pursuit of knowledge in today's world is facilitated by unprecedented access to information. The digital age has brought the sum of human knowledge to our fingertips, 
offering endless opportunities for learning. Embrace these tools, but do so discerningly, focusing on quality sources and meaningful content that aligns with your goals and interests. Staying adaptable in a changing world also means recognizing the value of learning from others. Every person we meet, every conversation we have, holds the potential for learning. Cultivate a habit of active listening, of genuine interest in the perspectives and experiences of others. This not only enriches our understanding but strengthens our connections with those around us. Furthermore, learning is not limited to the acquisition of knowledge but includes the development of skills and the refinement of character. Embrace challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. When faced with a difficult task or a new responsibility, rather than shrinking back, ask yourself, what can this teach me? It is often through facing and overcoming challenges that our most profound learning occurs. As we champion the role of lifelong learning, let us also remember to apply what we learn. Knowledge, when applied, becomes wisdom. It's not enough to simply accumulate information. We must integrate our learning into our actions, decisions, and interactions. This is how we bring about change, not only in ourselves but in the world around us. Where each thread is a moment, and every color a choice, it becomes paramount that we weave with intention, with purpose, and with a relentless pursuit of making every moment count. Life, in its essence, is a collection of moments, each fleeting, each precious, and it's within our power to infuse these moments with meaning, with action, and with the vibrancy of living fully. Embracing a proactive approach to life is akin to sailing against the current. It requires effort, it demands resilience, but above all, it necessitates a commitment to steering the course of our journey with deliberate strokes. It's about waking each morning with a resolve to not just pass through the hours, but to make the hours pass with significance. This doesn't imply a constant state of busyness or a relentless chase of productivity, but rather a conscious choice to engage fully with the present, to appreciate the beauty in the mundane, and to find joy in the pursuit of our passions. Making the most of each day begins with recognizing the gift that is the present moment. It's the only moment we're ever truly guaranteed. The past, with its trials and triumphs, is behind us, a chapter written in the book of our lives. The future, with its uncertainties and possibilities, lies ahead, a blank page waiting to be filled. But the present, it's here, it's now, and it's ours to shape. It's in the present that we have the power to act, to decide, and to live in a way that aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. So, how do we embark on this journey of making every moment count? It starts with setting intentions for our day, with having clarity on what we wish to achieve and what we hope to experience. It's about prioritizing tasks that align with our goals, about saying yes to opportunities that spark growth, and about learning to say no to distractions that veer us off course. It's about finding balance, about cultivating gratitude for the blessings we have, and about spreading kindness, for in uplifting others, we elevate ourselves. But beyond the daily intentions and actions, making every moment count is about embracing change, about staying adaptable in the face of life's inevitable shifts. It's about being a lifelong learner, open to new ideas, new challenges, and new paths that may diverge from the one we initially set out on. It's about resilience, about rising after each fall with more wisdom and more strength, gazing into the vast expanse of possibilities that lie before us. It is imperative to ponder the legacy we wish to leave behind. This legacy, woven from the threads of our actions, our choices, and the lives we touch, becomes the indelible mark we imprint upon the world. It is not measured by material wealth or transient accolades but by the depth of our impact, the lives we've enriched, and the positive change we've catalyzed in the world around us. Each individual possesses the extraordinary power to leave a legacy of significance, a testament to a life lived with purpose, passion, and integrity. It is a legacy that echoes through the ages, inspiring others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. This is the true measure of a life well lived. A legacy not of monuments but of moments, not of possessions but of principles. As we journey through the tapestry of life, let us be guided by our deepest values, by the unwavering commitment to be architects of a future that reflects our highest aspirations. Let us cultivate kindness, champion truth, and foster understanding. Let us be relentless in our pursuit of excellence, not for the sake of accolades but for the profound satisfaction that comes from knowing we have given our all to something greater than ourselves. Let this be our clarion call to action, to live a life that resonates with meaning, to build a legacy that outlives us,
to be remembered not for what we acquire, but for what we contributed to leave the world a little better than we found it. For in the end, it is only through living a life aligned with our values that we can truly make a lasting impact on the world. The Greek philosopher emphasized that moderation in all things is the key to a happy life. Nowadays, many people find themselves saying, I don't have time for my family, I don't have time to exercise, I don't have time for this and that. Whenever you feel out of balance, especially when you believe you don't have enough time, that's when you most need to pause and reflect. So, here's the question to ask. What would I do if I only had six months to live? If you find yourself overworking or neglecting your relationships, it's crucial to prioritize spending time with the people who matter most to you. If, given only six months to live, you would want to spend more time with your loved ones, then start doing that now. It's often joked that doctors never meet a dying person who wishes they had spent more time at the office. The fact is, balance and moderation in all things not only increase your productivity and efficiency, but also allow you to enjoy the great things in life. Your relationships, your passions, and the moments that bring you joy. Imagine you're financially independent, with $20 million in the bank, and you only have 10 years to live. You have superb health and all the money you need, but you still have to work. In this scenario, what career would you choose if you could work at anything? What field would bring you fulfillment and purpose? Take the time to explore your passions, whether through part-time work, volunteering, or education. Thousands of people have transitioned into careers they love by taking this approach, and you can too. Now, let's discuss the Law of Three, my favorite principle of time management. This law, based on 30 years of study, states that no matter your profession, there are typically only three activities that contribute significantly to your success and happiness. These three activities account for 90% of the value you contribute and 90% of your happiness. To identify these crucial tasks, ask yourself three questions. If I could only do one thing on this list all day long, which activity would have the greatest positive impact on my life? If I could only do two things all day long, what would be the second most valuable thing? If I could only do three things all day long, what would be number three? By focusing on these three tasks and improving your skills in them, you can dramatically increase your productivity and success. Remember, it's not about doing more tasks. It's about doing the right tasks. The ones that truly matter to you and contribute to your goals and happiness. Look for your list, and you'll identify number two. Then, ask yourself the question a third time. If I could only do three things all day long, what would be number three? Circle it. Now, I put all my students through this exercise, and they're always astonished. In just a few minutes, they see clearly that these are the three most crucial activities for achieving their goals of health, wealth, and happiness. So, the rule is simple. Do fewer things in your daily life, but do more important things, and do them more consistently. Then, strive to improve in each of those areas. In every aspect of life, there are three things that are more important than everything else. These priorities may change over time, but you must be clear about them. By focusing solely on these three priorities, you will rapidly increase your productivity, performance, and output. To make these techniques work for you, there are four requirements, which we call the four Ds. The first is desire. You must have a burning desire to excel at time management. The second is decision. You must decide to become an expert in this subject and commit to practicing these techniques. Without a clear decision, nothing will change. The third is discipline. You must discipline yourself to practice good time management techniques consistently. Remember, time management is self-discipline in action. The fourth D is determination. You must persist and keep improving until you master these techniques. The payoff for mastering time management is tremendous because, in reality, time management is life management. Every improvement in your time management skills will enhance every part of your life. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of your time management. In every study of high-performing individuals, intense result orientation goes hand in hand with significant life achievements. It's not about how much time you put in or how busy you appear, but about the quality and quantity of the results you produce. This principle is known as the law of sowing and reaping. You reap what you sow. If you want to increase your rewards, focus on increasing the quality and quantity of your results. Most people are surprisingly unproductive, working at only about 50% of their capacity. There are tremendous opportunities for those who implement effective time management strategies.
Neatness is crucial. Start and end with a clean workspace. Perception matters as much as reality, so maintain a professional and organized environment. Focus is paramount for success in today's world. In a world full of distractions, the ability to focus is more critical than ever. Concentrate single-mindedly on one thing until it's complete. This philosophy of focus has been endorsed by successful individuals like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. Concentration is where all time management principles lead. It's the ability to focus 100% on one task until it's finished. To achieve success and happiness in life, focus and concentration are essential. Start by making a list of everything you need to do and then select the most important task. Work on that task with undivided attention until it's complete. Task completion is the key to success and personal fulfillment. When you complete an important task, you boost your self-esteem, confidence, and energy levels. Task completion is not just about productivity. It's about your overall well-being and sense of accomplishment. So, start and complete tasks consistently to unlock your full potential and achieve your goals. They start and complete tasks on time. Now, what does this require? It requires our old friend and enemy, self-discipline. What we know about task completion is that not only is it the key to the future, not only is it the key to getting more and greater opportunities, but completing important tasks, doing something that's important to you and carrying it through to 100% completion, is a source of energy, enthusiasm, and high self-esteem. Men and women who consistently work on getting important things done and see them through to completion are more positive, optimistic, and self-confident. They have more belief and self-assurance in themselves and get more opportunities to complete more tasks. On the flip side, completing low-priority tasks leads to stress. If you focus on getting lots of little things done that don't move you closer to your important goals, you end up feeling unfulfilled. Studies show that the average person works about 600 hours a year, while an average executive or business owner works about 2,000 hours a year. By understanding this, you can calculate your hourly rate. For instance, if you earn $100,000 a year, your hourly rate is $50. According to Ricardo's Law of Comparative Advantage, you should only do tasks that pay you $50 an hour or more and delegate the rest. Now, here's the life-changing discovery, the Law of Three. This law states that, no matter how many tasks you have, three of them account for 90% of your value. By identifying and focusing on these three tasks, you can double your income within a short time. Ask yourself three magic questions. Which task would have the greatest positive impact on your career if you could only do one thing all day? Which would be number two? And which would be number three? Once you've identified your big three, do fewer things, but do more important things. Spend more time working on these three tasks and get better at them. Combine the law of three with the eat the frog technique. Work on your most important task first and make it a habit. Think of yourself as management, not labor, and focus on your big three tasks. Developing character is also crucial. Character is the ability to follow through on a resolution after the initial enthusiasm has passed. It's about self-discipline in action making the sacrifices necessary for long-term success. By mastering task completion, focusing on your big three, and developing character through self-discipline, you can conquer the world and achieve your goals.